control Hi guys and welcome to my guide on how to make gold in WoW. So this is my character. Um, it's pretty much gold capped. Uh, and I've been playing WoW since Vanilla days. Um, but the way you make gold hasn't changed much in all this while. We used to use Auctioneer before but nowadays it's TSM because TSM is just faster. And it automates a lot of the process that we used to do back then. So, uh, first thing that you could need uh, is auction, uh, not auctioneer. You can have auctioneer if you want, but I would say go ahead and uh, get TSM. Once you have uh, TSM, we'll go ahead with the next step. I also uh, would like to tell you guys to uh, get this add on called uh, the Undermine Journal. The reason why I ask for Undermine Journal is because uh, the prices with Undermine Journal I feel are much more stable than. Uh, what TSM provides you. So we'll get back to the video once uh, you have set that up. So now that you have uh, TSM installed and hopefully you have the uh, Undermine Journal add-on installed, uh, once we get into the game, we're able to see a lot of uh, tooltip info. Like uh, here we can see uh, in the uh, slightly golden color as of three days and six hours ago, uh, the price was 10,000 for this item and the 14 day price is uh, 11,000 and so on. So what I have found is that uh, the Undermine Journal's va valuation seems to be better than uh, TSM Auction DB, uh, the market value that's used there. So I like to go with a mix of uh, WOW Auction, the Undermine Journal, Auction DB and calculate my own price as you can see the custom prices are there and that's what i will generally sell these items at uh, so if you look at this uh, on my realm according to my custom pricing uh, this item is selling for around 9300 um, but what i generally used to sell is the me sell which is at 11600 and i've seen that most of the times even though they may say that the valuation is lesser, uh, this price does sell and uh, do make quite a bit of profit. So before we can get started on that, uh, let's go ahead and uh, open TSM. The first thing you would need to do is uh, create a new auctioning group. So click on operations here and uh, go to auctioning. And now we're going to create a new operation so just enter what you need to click ok and then go to post here you're going to set your duration i like to leave it at 24 hours because my whole uh, auction um, pre-sale process takes about five minutes a day and that's the only reason i will log into wow nowadays i've uh, quit gaming uh, with wow especially so I leave it at 24 hours and now we need a minimum price and a maximum price. So what I like to do is, since you have uh, the Undermine Journal and uh, Auction DB uh, providing you the prices, what we can easily do is just enter, say, uh, if you want, the minimum price that you want to sell the item at is, uh, say, 70% then you would enter 70% and TUJ market. Now, if you're wondering uh, what this TUJ market is, you can just type T slash TSM sources. And here you see the uh, different pricings that are available for TSM to use. So T this is from auction DB, uh, you have from TSM accounting, which I would say do not touch. Uh, you have TUJ market, TUJ global mean, so TUJ market is the uh, market price for that item uh, over the last 14 days, which tends to be much more stable. I would not be using this for my own purposes. I will get to that part later, but just for the sake of teaching you the basics, uh, let's just put that in. Maximum price, let's put it at uh, say 120% of TUJ market. And uh, Normal price, we could just leave it at 100 or 110. Because if there's someone undercutting you, it would go below that. Once this is done, uh, if there are any stacks for the items, you can set that here. 
and if there's any particular quantity you want to keep in your bags and not sell you can set that here as well uh, once this is done we will go ahead and click on options okay and on groups and here we would create a new group this you can just name it as test uh, test group okay So now we have the new group popping up here. What we need to do is um, click on operations and we just made an operation called test there. So we have to just set that here. Now what happens is whatever items that you're going to put under this group, they're going to be sold by the prices you have set in the operation earlier. So I have a lot of different uh, operations set up uh, for Sorry, prices set up for uh, different items. So in this one, it's going to be a normal pricing. So we're going to set it to test. Now you need to click on items and TSM is going to automatically show you the items that are available in your backpack. So you click on uh, the item that you want to sell. Let's say Thorium more and uh, maybe this. And uh, this is it. Click add, it adds them to this group. So now you're pretty much all set to uh, get TSM working for you. All you have to do is close this. Let's head out to the uh, auction house. Now guys, I'll show you how my pricing is set up a little later in the video. Let me just show you how, we, okay. Before I do that, I need to go and collect uh, my meal. Uh, TSM has its own uh, mail collection application, so you can see this is what I made uh, last 24 hours. I just set it once and it's done the rest on its own. Let's click open mail. So basically, I've made groups for almost all the items uh, possible. So I just go to the auction house, TSM uh, scans the auction house and posts the items for me. It can also undercut the items for me. So go to auctioneer. Now um, we want to post, so we click on auctioning. And this is a list of all the groups that I have. So let's just sell the test group to those three items that you said earlier. So click on that, click on start post. Okay, so. Uh, here it says that the price is uh, it says talisman of uh, treasure tracking is under 9 gold so it can undercut it all you have to do is just click post let me go ahead and select uh... okay let's go ahead select all of them and click start post scan. Here we go, this is what I normally do. It scans all those uh, groups that we have made. It checks if uh, the prices are at what we want it to be. If it's below the minimum price, it will not post it. If there's no one else posting, it will post at the normal price and uh, it will keep undercutting someone else till you reach your maximum price. So it's done scanning and now to post it, all I have to do is click post multiple times. There's also a macro setting in DSM which you can set and press control and you rotate your scroll wheel and it can post them as well. Okay, now that uh, that's completed. Okay, let me show you how we can go ahead and uh, buy items from, uh, find items to buy from the auction house. So click on DSM and uh, here we go to uh, shopping and we have uh, again like the previous operation we can set up shopping operations so say you want to buy something okay what i'm doing here is i'm buying and reselling epics above uh, 670 i level because epics always sell and uh, it's an easy market to get into. 
competition is much lesser even though there is competition is pretty much okay because once you sell an item you make quite a bit of money uh, a lot of people try to do the transmog uh, market but uh, I find it too difficult because you're going to spend almost 15-20 minutes just running to the mailbox and back because you have uh, 500-600 items to post. This way you just have 30-40 uh, or say 50 items to sell but you're making more money. Okay, so uh, just like um, earlier, you go to operations and you create, click on operations here, you can create a new name and once you create it, you can just go to general and enter the percentage and here you would enter TUJ market or um, auction DB or any of those now I've gone with my custom price in here do not try to enter this try entering a TUJ market so what happens is once you, this is set you go to your groups and under groups you're going to go to operations and like earlier you had said uh, the operations say test or in my case I've set it to this all you have to do is for the same group of items you need to go ahead and choose the uh, newly created shopping group shopping operation that you have set there once it is the once this is done when you go back to your auction house you can just click on the shopping tab it will show you the operations that you have there um, so basically this I have set this up so that all my epics um, let me show you that see most of the uh, 670 plus epics or 665 plus epics in my case um, are here so uh, TSM just works on this one uh, main group and it knows what to buy and what to sell so let's search for uh, anyone that's selling uh, those items at around 30% uh, of the market value. I like to set it between 30% and 50% because uh, I'm going to be selling it at 100% or I think 90% is the least. So I make at least 40% uh, profit on uh, the money I'm going to be investing here. So, okay, let's see. We have a. Uh, the braces here. Uh, this item is being sold for 930 gold. And uh, there's just one of these items on the market. So it could sell well. It's 685 I level, so that's good. Um, you can see that uh, the 14 day price is at 7000. TSM auction DP is showing me 9500 for this item. So all you need to do is just click here and buy it out. Again, we go the. Uh, see, there's not much to look at because it's when someone makes a mistake and uh, puts in a very low price that it's going to start showing up here. Uh, do I want to buy this? Do I have any of these in my bag? Okay, I do not have any of these, and it could sell for four thousand. Okay, I'm going to be quitting the game, so <laughs> I don't want to get more stocks that I'm not going to be able to sell. Let's go ahead and collect that one item that we bought. And again, like earlier, all you have to do is come here. Uh, you can do the entire post scan or you can just do this. Start the post scan. So we just bought this for 900 and we're going to be selling it at uh, 9400. So that's 10 times the price. And you can be sure that in uh, say a day or maybe three, it's going to be sold and you're going to make that money. So just do this and you will make quite a bit of money. This depends on the number of other people who are doing this. But I found that uh, they are hard, there's hardly any competition of people trying to do sell only epics so on my server which is fast main eu i just have around four or five people who mass buy and uh, sell epics like me okay let's take a look at custom pricing i know uh, a lot of people have been searching for this so 
these are the custom pricing that I'm using. Uh, make sure you have uh, the Undermine Journal add-on installed or this will not work or you'll have to edit it. So <clears throat> I've created uh, a custom source. You can just create a new one here. I've created one called Me Set. <laughs> My creativity is quite bad uh, with the names. Uh, and uh, under custom pricing for the source, I've chosen this is the uh, this is the formula I'm using. You can pause this video and uh, note it down if you want. It's going to take uh, the average of these, okay, and out of each of these values, it's going to take the maximum one for it. And then I've done this for the region. Basically, these are going to be the uh, TSM uh, price sources for regional markets. Again, uh, you can pause the video. I leave this in the description as well if anyone wants it. This is quite big. <laughs> I think I'll definitely leave it in the uh, description. Okay, and me realm is my prices for my server now you might wonder why um, i have prices for my server and my region and uh, what happens is i have i take the prices from my realm and my region and then i use this formula uh, which is a two to three uh, split to get a better so uh, idea of what that item is selling for generally uh, as you can see here, okay, I would sell, sorry, okay, I would sell this item at 15,761, in, in this region, that's the EU region, it's, uh, that item is selling for 11,400, and uh, on the realm it's selling for 14,000, right, um, general is selling me a split so that I know that uh, my valuation is not too way off in case someone is trying to manipulate uh, the realm price sources by any chance and uh, <coughs> this is what I generally sell it for so me general comes from here and this would give me a pretty accurate price that I would say I'm not going to go wrong with it I'm not going to make uh, a loss because it's always going to be the highest uh, number that's going to pop up here uh, so thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day. Bye.